What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be installing wheel spacers on a third generation Toyota Tacoma. While the TRD Offroad's OEM wheels and tires may look great from the factory, some of us might see that the offset isn't enough, giving it that sunken look. You can clearly see it here, and one solution to bringing the wheel and tire out more is to install wheel spacers. So I'm going to be installing them behind all four wheels and hopefully make it look more aggressive or at least flush with the off-road's factory over fenders. And in case you're wondering, this is not my Tacoma. Here's a shot of the front tire. It's also got that sunken look to it. Let's see if the changes we're gonna make will improve the look. Here are the wheel spacers that I'll be using. They're made by Spider Tracks. And let's take a look at the part number. The part number for these wheel spacers are WHS007 and these are one and a quarter inch thick. Let's take a look at the contents inside. There are two wheel spacers in each box. The machining looks really nice. These have a six lug pattern for the Toyota Tacoma and the hub spacing is also Tacoma specific. It's pretty nice that they also have wheel studs already installed. Let's take a look at the second one in the box. And it's pretty much the same thing with the second one. Also included is thread locker and hardware. For those that are concerned, let's find out what the difference is between the over fender and the tire. As you guys can see, the leveler is level on the top and the bottom so the difference is about three quarters of an inch between the sidewall of the tire and the over fender here's another measurement to be taken it is at the tread so as you guys can see like earlier the leveler is leveled and the difference between the tread to the over fender is about one and three quarters of an inch so why am I measuring from this area? Because this area is the area that kicks rocks. So you want this to be underneath the over fender just in case rocks are uh, getting slung around. Here's the measurement for the rear tire. It's leveled at the top. It's leveled at the bottom. And we have about 3 eighths difference between the sidewall of the tire and the over fender for the rear. Here's the measurement for the top of the tire tread to the over fender. And it looks to be about one and a half inches. Before I install the wheel spacer, I'm going to use thread lock so that the wheel spacer doesn't fall out once I install it. The wheel spacer just slips right on. To secure the wheel spacer, I'll be using these tapered lug nuts that came with the kit. There's a tapered side, just make sure that it's facing the drum. After securing the nuts, we need to torque it to 90 foot pounds. Now it's time for the front. I'm going to Loctite the studs first. After that, it's the wheel spacers turn. Just like the rear, there's a tapered side to the lug nut. Just make sure the tapered side is facing the rotor when you install it. Now it's time to torque the nuts to 90 foot pounds and you may need another person to step on the brakes for this process. I finished installing all four wheel spacers. Now it's time to install the wheels back on. They'll need to be torqued to 83 foot pounds. All right guys, the truck is down on all four tires. Let's see what this thing looks like. The sidewall is sticking out and that's fine. Our concern is the tread does it stick out past the over fenders? 
it doesn't look that way it looks just about right guys i can peek right over and you can see the tread right there it, it looks perfect so let's go to the front and it's the same up here too the sidewall is sticking out but the tread if i poke through you can see it right there let's get a closer view if i poke out right here you can see the top of the tread and right here it's just perfect it lines right up with the over fender only the sidewall is sticking out so let's take a look at the other side just in case there is some differences so you can see the tread is right there now if i line up with the over fender this is right on top so let me swing back out to the right and back to the left it's right about perfect guys so let's take a look at the rear and it's the same over here i can pop out to the right you can see the top of the tread and it's only the sidewall sticking out what do you guys think good no good you just like the sunken look i don't know let me know in the comment section below here's the new measurement for the front tire as you can see everything is level at the bottom and the top and that new measurement is one and one eighth of an inch and as you can see we are measuring at the sidewall so if we go up to the over fender that dimension is three eighths of an inch here's the new dimension for the rear tire we have it leveled at the bottom and at the top and that measurement is one and one eighth of an inch so let's get the over fender difference and that difference is about seven eighths of an inch now it's time to check the front tires for clearance in case it rubs anything while turning the front tire looks like it's pretty close but it doesn't look like it'll be an issue from here The rear of the front tire has a lot of clearance, so I wouldn't be too worried. There might be some rubbing issues with larger diameter tires, but the stock tires clear fine. Here's a side-by-side -side shot of the rear passenger side comparing the stock on the left to the one and a quarter inch spacer on the right. Here's a side-by-side -side shot of the front facing forward, comparing the stock on the left to the one and a quarter inch spacer on the right. Sorry guys, I wasn't able to get a front shot facing towards the back on this one. So what do you guys think? Are you interested in installing wheel spacers on your third generation Tacoma? Did it come out right? Is it kind of like dangerous? I thought installing spacers on this Tacoma made it look much nicer because the OEM wheels have that sunken look to them and if you've ever seen cars with that sunken look, it just doesn't look right. Right now, it actually looks very flush. I was surprised what the difference was. I might even be doing it myself. I'm not too sure right now, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.